Hello P5 pupils. Okay, it's time for us to learn a new topic and of course the new topic is on air and the respiratory system. Now, most of the parts we are talking about human. Now, we will leave a small part for plants and of course uh, another even smaller part for other animals, for example fish. Okay, so our main focus is still on human respiratory system and plants. Okay, let's take a look. There will be a few questions that we're going to talk about. First question, what is air made up of? This is a very easy portion. All you have to know is just memorize. Later we'll tell you more. What are the organs of the human respiratory system? We're going to talk about the organs, okay? Now actually you learn part of this in P4 or P3 for some of you, okay? So we will talk about that and then we will learn about their functions as well. How do fish, mammals and plants take in oxygen and give out carbon dioxide? Now we're going to talk about mammals, mostly talking about us, and then plants, okay? Now, all mixed up. Air is a mixture of gases. Now, over here, there are lots of gases in this room right now. Now, there will be oxygen, there is carbon dioxide, there's nitrogen, and other gases. About one fifth of air is oxygen. Now, one fifth is about 20%. Now, you will be learning percentage later part of the year for mathematics. So, 20% just bear that in mind, about there. The remaining four feet are mostly made up of nitrogen and a small amount of carbon dioxide, water vapor and some other gases. Now what does this mean? About 79% is actually your nitrogen. And of course, the other 1% that will be your carbon dioxide, water vapor and other gases. Now, this whole thing makes up 100%, okay? So basically, just know this, there is oxygen, there is nitrogen, there is carbon dioxide, water vapor, and other gases in the air, okay? 